is guys, it's your boy Blast from HD, and today we're here to watch a video that a lot of you guys have been requesting me to watch. It's called 10 Worst Teachers of All Goddamn Time. Well, I added the goddamn, of course. Uh, the original video is by Top Trending. If you guys want to watch the entire video, make sure to click the link in the description down below and go to their channel and watch them shits considering uh, I chopped the video up. You know what I mean? Y'all already know what's up. Uh, you know, let, let fucking Lego. I forgot to plug in my goddamn headphones. <laughs> Let's do this. Elementary school teacher Mark Burns is facing 25 years. His, I thought that was his name. Semen cookies. I thought that was his name. I'm like, what? Who would name the child that? I was, <laughs> I'm sorry. Years in prison for feeding his students cookies laced with semen. He even took photos to document the... Oh! seven-year-old little girl sperm cookies what <laughs> I did not know that this countdown was gonna be this bad <laughs> after it was discovered that he had been blindfolding his students and making them eat cookies he prepared with his own semen being the special ingredient what type of fuck shit really what did the kids do that was so bad that you needed to beat your meat into a bowl and then bake the shit and feed it to them. I don't understand. Kids can be little shits. I get that. Kids are terrible, horrible little people. But at the same time, there's nothing that should warrant this type of punishment. I'm surprised one of the parents didn't kill him. I would have. Oh, you're getting beaten to death with a spoon. We'll Ginasaji his bitch ass. Just tie him to a chair and just hit him lightly with a spoon for years until he fucking dies <laughs> oh man that's you haven't seen fucking uh an extremely slow murder with an, uh, a very ineffective weapon you go see that shit it's the best fucking video on youtube i swear crystal defonte treated the fifth grader she teaches with a spicy sex tape in which she had the starring role. Devante, a school teacher in California, distributed DVDs which were supposed to be collections of nice memories. All I want to know is, is she bad though? Because to me, it's only fucked up if she's fat. You know, if she's unattractive, then don't you don't show me this fucked up shit. But if she's bad, uh, do you have more? of the porn. It is kids though, so I guess it's wrong either which way, even if she's bad. You, you know at least one of these kids' fathers saw this, ran up in there like, hey, no, what are you watching? What the fuck? No, look, hey, get, get out of here. You, get, you close the door. Get out of here. <laughs> you know, that's, that's a bad joke. We're gonna... That's tasteless. We're going to edit that out. The DVDs, which the kids were given to take home and share with their families, accidentally contained one extra video. Jessica Vanessa... Was she bad, though? That's important. ...was a kindergarten teacher when she discovered that her major talent was not being an educator, but twerking. Her Vine account, which has over 2.3 million followers, allows her to make much more money than her teaching ever did. She claims that six seconds of twerking gets her the same amount of money four months of working as a kindergarten teacher amounts to. Whoo! I don't see how that would get her on this list, though. If you ask me, that's some of the smartest fucking shit. Like, she should be on world's best teachers. That just goes to show you, education really ain't shit. It's nothing of what they want you to believe it is. They try to fucking, oh yeah, man, go to school for eight years. And then possibly four more, get that high degree, get that piece of paper, baby. It's just it's a Willy Wonka's golden ticket to life. You're going to get out there, you're going to get a job, and it's going to be so much money that swimming with it. With the money, you know, gonna be eating it for breakfast and shit is gonna be delicious. When that's complete and utter fuck shit and lies is what that shit is. 
You know, uh, I will, you know what I mean? I, when people ask me about school and college and all that shit, man, my old philosophy on school is, man, fuck school. I mean, you know, school teaches you uh, some things that you need to learn. Communicate with people, you know, it gets you used to being around a bunch of people, which is always good, you know? It teaches you how to smash bitches. Well, not, there's not a class on that. But, you know, it puts you around the opposite sex, so, you know, being around them as much and talking to them, you get good at not being awkward around them. You know, it basically teaches you how to build relationships in my in my mind. All the shit you take tests on, you don't remember that shit. All the shit you wrote papers on, that shit don't do nothing for you. You know what I mean? I done met motherfuckers with big ass degrees who couldn't count they change. Motherfuckers working at like Kinko's or some shit for like four, five years out this bitch, but have big degrees. I say this to people. If your goal is uh, to do a specific career that you need a degree to do, then yes, go to school, study ass off, do your thing, get that degree, and get to get that career that you want because you need that degree to get that career. As, if you have passion to do that career, then yes. But if your goal in life is to get money, school is not going to fucking help you at all. It's, it's really not. <laughs> school does not teach you how to get money. <laughs> oh shit, if it did, you know, everyone that comes out of school usually wouldn't be about $40,000 in debt. $400 for a book my ass. <laughs> but yeah. The dirty cafeteria floor for 10 straight school days. This was a punishment enforced by the vice principal after a classmate mistakenly spilled a water jug on the floor while refilling the water cooler. This caused so much outrage that parents filed lawsuits over the school's absurd actions. The punished children ended up receiving a total of $500,000 from the New Jersey school board. In Chandler, Arizona. You know, none of the kids are never gonna see a penny of that shit. Fucking moms and dads out at strip clubs and spending it on like barbecue and shit. Was, I, I'm about to go eat barbecue. I'm so hungry. Uh, uh -huh. An 18 year old high school student was caught having sex with his 48 year old math teacher in her bedroom. The man who caught the two was the math teacher's 20 year old boyfriend. Out of anger and rage, he ended up stabbing the 18 year old boy to death on the spot. As it turns out, the 20 year old boyfriend was a former student of the math teacher as well. Viking El Damn, bro! When is it ever that serious? You know what I mean? I, I done caught people cheating on me. I ain't gonna lie, man. In the heat of the moment, you'd be pissed off and shit. But is it worth going to jail for the rest of your life? I can understand stomping the motherfucker's face out. But damn, bro, you gonna kill him? Shit. Kinda makes you think, is 48-year-old vagina really that good? I mean, is it worth dying for? Or going to jail for the rest of your life? Damn. I'm gonna really be thinking about that shit later on. Like, I wonder what 48 year old vagina really feels like. <laughs> We're gonna edit that out. They would put the kids in a cage-like contraption made from a toddler gate and a crib gate attached to bookshelves. Ladeldra Brooks found out about this when she showed up unannounced, only to find her 7-year-old daughter wearing diapers locked up in the cage. The school's principal claims it's a disciplinary measure that was installed three years prior and sees nothing wrong with it. The parents strongly disagree. A Kentucky elementary school sparked national outrage in late 2011 when a special needs child with autism was stuffed into a duffel bag. His teacher zipped the bag shut with him trapped inside. They then threw him out in the hallway and left him. He refused to do his classwork, which is apparently what led to this happening. The boy actually hadn't been discovered until his mother came into the school, only to hear her son screaming for help from down the hall. The bag was tied so tight that she had to receive receive another teacher's aid in order to get him out. School officials claim that it was a form of therapy for the child. Motherfucker. Oh boy. I wish a motherfucker would tie anyone that I care about into a duffel bag and claim it was a form of therapy. See, this is the definition of fuck shit. When motherfucker does some grimy shit and then try to convince you that it's a good thing? That's like you, that's like you replacing my chocolate ice cream with, with poop 
and then putting sprinkles on it, and then when I'm like, nigga, this is shit you're feeding me. They're like, but it's good for you. Come on, man. I use the choo-choo train. You know what I mean? Because I used to try to, that's, I used to try to feed you. I'm like, you know what I mean? Like, motherfucker. <laughs> Bruh, I would have caught a case that day. Fuck that shit. I would have went to jail all day, every day. We, <laughs> woo. I'd have had the big, I'd have ear to ear while I was going to prison, man. I'd have beat the living fuck out of it. Wrap my child up in a, a bag. Cynthia Ramsey was suspended after voicing her racism in the classroom. The North Carolina math teacher at Camden County High School has allegedly told her students that if she had only 10 days to live, she would use that time to kill all black people. Ramsey was, however, reinstated and allowed to keep her job despite the strong accusations. What, what the fuck? Bruh, did you hear? You know what? I was so happy when I heard her voice of racism because I just knew that she was going to get fired and be forced to shut the fuck up. Oh yeah, bitch. You want to murder all black people? Well, guess what now, bitch? You got to murder them from the comfort of your fucking box house because now you're homeless, bitch. Huh? Oh, 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 what now, bitch? Because she got her job back. I don't understand that shit. I don't, I just don't. But yeah, man. You know, hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know, um, of course, there are uh, probably two more instances of horrible teacherism on here. But as you guys know, I leave parts of it out. So you guys got to go check it out on original uh, posters channel who is top trending. You know, uh, if you guys do want to do so, the link is in the description down below. Make sure to go check them out. Subscribe. They make really good top 10 videos. It's your boy Blast from Sage D. Teachers be on that bullshit sometimes. Twisms.